Sometimes you have multiple sections on a spreadsheet that you would like to summarize in one single report. This is called consolidation. This can be done automatically with Excel VBA. In this case, we have a series of sections, in this case three. Uh, they have the same layout, the same entries in the column and in the rows. And here we make an overview, included the subtotals. And we ask at the end, do you want to delete that consolidated table, yes or no? The next situation is a little more complicated because it doesn't have the same layout. Uh, some have three, four rows, some have three rows, five. Uh, some entries are different, some are the same. So we have to do much more work in order to get this overview. Again, we can clear it at the end if we want to. In order to tackle this kind of situations, you need to know that in order to get these sections highlighted, you select column A, go to special, and select the constants. The constants in column A will be highlighted in different areas. This is called an area, that is called an area, and that is an area. So we have three areas in column A. And corresponding with that, we will find the data. Those are the areas. How can we handle that situation? We need to know one more thing. Every section is separated from another one by empty rows or empty columns. We call such a unit the current region. The current region has a, a big advantage in VBA because it knows exactly how many rows we have here, five, and how many columns, five. How many rows, six. How many columns, six. Thanks to the current region, we can do miracles. You need to know one more thing. The property address of a cell or a range gives you options to say, do you want an absolute row reference or an absolute column reference? Cells 2-2, two, two, that is the cell in row 2, column 2, the address is, of course, B2. But absolute, if you don't specify anything in the argument, then it assumes that your row designation is absolute and your column in reference. If you don't want that, you have to say explicitly inside the parentheses that you don't want absolute references. So this one will be B2. We will use this one, the last one, because that one will automatically adjust when you copy it down or to the right. Let's go to our simple situation that each section has the same layout. What we are going to do is declare two variables of the range type. Three string type variables, three integer type variables that I didn't further specify. We ask the user where do you want to start, let's say by default in G1 for our summary report. From the first from the first column in the selection of columns, we use the special cells property of the type constants. So it will highlight all the constant cells. We store that in O column table. In O column table, we talk to the first area take the current region of that whole thing and copy that whole entity to range as plot. So we got an exact replica here the first time. And then later on we are going to add the second area and the third area. We turn the cut copy mode off. Then we set O sum table to the current region around range S plot. That is O sum table. We put in the first cell of that O sum table range the word consolidated. And we continue our subroutine. We find out the sum table to the right how many columns it has at this moment. 5, we store that in C. 
We loop through all the rows of the sum table. We count the number of rows. We run from row 2 through row 5. We close the loop. We do another loop through all the areas of the column, o column table way to the left. How many areas do we have? We run from one to the last one. And we store from the first area the cell in row 2 through 5, the address in a relative notation, and we store that in S address. We store those addresses in a string formula. If there is nothing yet in S form, then we add the equal sign and the address of the cell, let's say B2. Or if we have that already, then we say B2 plus B7, etc., etc. We store that formula S form in the O sum table range cells R2, let's say this one, through RC. Store S form in there because it is a relative notation, it will adjust to its location and empty the string S form. And do the loop again, and do the loop again, and do it for the third row, for the fourth row, for the fifth row. So we end up with something like this. In that cell is now equals B2 plus, plus B8 plus B15. How do we get totals or subtotals in the last extra row and the last extra column? You probably know if you highlight all these cells plus an extra row and an extra column, you can use Alt equal sign to automatically get the sum function in there. We will mimic that in VBA. In the range S plot current region, we resize that current region with an extra row and an extra column and select that larger range, that expanded range. Then we use the send keys command that says give me the percentage sign stands for an alt command, alt equals. Do a do events command because otherwise it will run automatically in the, the next command line. We want to really do this process first until it's finished. Then we take the active cell current region. Again, we select it. We auto fit the entire column in there. And we ask through a message box. Do you want to clear the table? If so, dot clear that means clear the current region of the active cell and select range a1 to go back to the first cell on the sheet in the more complicated situation we have to do much more work for instance the travel sum in quarter one is based on this one that one but there is no travel there plus travel in there, but in the third row here in the fourth row. So we have to do much more work. Another problem is that we have to create a list of entries here. Office, you want office only once. And you want to find what do we have, what don't we have yet. We declare again our two range type variables. This time we also declare an array variable by Typing open and close parentheses, we make this an array variable of the string type. That means it's going to hold a bunch of strings, office, personnel, etc. We set O column table again to the first column to all the constants. With O column table, we are going to loop through all the areas in that left section. We loop in each area through the number of rows it has. We find what in the first column the entry is. Office, personnel, etc. We are going to redim our array to n indexes. N is zero at the beginning. So index zero is the first element in the array. It is zero based. With preserve, we make sure that you don't lose what you had already in the array. We loop through that array, 
from zero to the last element, the first time that is zero, from zero to zero. If the first element is as entry, then we say we found it already, we don't want to add it again, we exit the for loop, we don't have to go any further. If b found is still false, then we add as entry to that last element in the array, we update n to n plus 1, so the next time we will do one more element in the array, and we set b found to false. Then we are still in the o call table with statement. We ask where do you want to start your summary, let's say in G1. We loop through all the array elements from 0 to the last index. We put in G1 the first elements from the array, then the second element, third, fourth, fifth, etc. We loop through all the areas. We loop through each area's rows. If that area's cell's first row happens to be as list, then we are going to build a formula. Okay. We loop through the array again. We store in G1 the first element from the array, we loop for the areas again, we loop for all the rows of each area. If that area first one happens to be whatever is in the loop, as list one, as list two, then we store that address in as address. We use our as form variable again. If it's still empty, then we add an equal sign and the address, otherwise we keep adding an address. We use that S form build area in here. That's going to be for the first row, the second row, the second, etc. And we set S form back to zero and it keeps doing that until we reach the last list in the array. Then finally we are going to autofit the, all the columns in the current region of the new table. We ask for a message box, do you want to clear the summary? If they say yes, we are going to do so. Let's test it. Here is our simple situation. Yeah, what is simple. We're going to copy this first one in here and then add all the other ones. Control Shift C. Where do you want your consolidation to start? In G1. It added an extra row and an extra column. It did the old equal sign performance. Do you want to clear the consolidation? I'm going to say yes. The second situation is much more complicated. That was the second subroutine. It starts the same way, but it had to do much more work. It had to make this list. It had to find which cells qualify to be in here, etc. Do you want to clear your summary? Yes. If you want to know more about Visual Basic, it's a very powerful tool, as you see. I would recommend this CD-ROM that I developed for you. It has a an immense collection of issues in more than 1400 slides. In part one it will discuss the left part, in part two this section. The red part is what goes into the issues we have just discussed. In part three the more advanced issues of VBA in Excel. Where do you find that CD-ROM? Either at MrExcel.com, Amazon.com, just type in my name, Gerard Verschuren, and you will find the CDs and the books I developed on these issues. I wish you good luck. <laughs>